y'all welcome back it's charlene adzema here again and uh, you might notice that i am uh differently lighted and my background has a corner now and um i don't know it's going to sound a little different too because i'm also using a new mic um, i am back in my studio space yay um for the first time in about a year and three months so um teaching most of my students in person and um but I'm gonna keep doing our videos here and uh, I hope you will continue to enjoy them. Just uh, let me know. So I've given it a lot of thought this week and I've been really struggling as to uh, what we should do. And I decided um, a lot of my students here in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and a lot of the players out here really love music from the south of Ireland. So like counties Kerry and Cork. And those tunes are usually polkas and slides. Now you've already done polkas, which are sort of like, um, sort of like reels in a way, right? You know, bit, bit quick and jaunty. Um, slides are sort of like jigs, a bit quick and jaunty. Now remember, jigs are in six eight time, right? Uh, slides have been written, are commonly written in twelve eight time, and if six eight means you get two beats per measure, one and a two and a, 12 eight means you get four beats per measure, one and a two and a three and a four and a. But I'm gonna pull the rug out from under you and I'm gonna tell you that um, I believe that slides are actually still played in two, <laughs> okay? So it's more like yabba da da ba da yabba da da ba da yabba da da ba da yabba da da ba ba one and a one two three four five six one two three four five six. Ugh, it's hard to say. And uh, it's generally because it's a little bit faster. Uh, generally fewer notes. Um, so fewer uh, groups of three in a beat, and more groups of two, long shorts. Okay. Um, the tune we're going to learn today is "Going to the Well for Water," which is like really popular. I, it's got loads of names, but this is the one I know. And I'm not going to put up a mat today. Ah, okay, but I, I, I believe you can do this. I absolutely believe you can do this. Um, usually it's, you know, eight bars to a part, but since uh, we've written it in 12-8, you know, so it's basically two six-eighths to a, to a bar now, um, your entire A part is going to be four bars, okay? Uh, and, and you'll double that. Uh, more or less, I think. So let's uh, let's go for it. I think I think you'll you'll get this. So your your whole first measure. It's so much fun here. Here we go. Woo. So we start on open A, and uh, go ahead and set your first finger down on E F sharp, and we're gonna do a couple long shorts. Three of them actually, and then you're gonna walk down from that F sharp. Okay, let's do it again. Don't worry about bowings yet. I'm not sure if we'll get there this time, but, but let's just learn our tune. Let's have some fun. Again. Again. Cool. Now, uh, let's keep that rhythm in our minds, and but let's move on to new notes. Hop that first finger over to the A string, so now you're on B, and you snug your second finger on the E string, so it's low two, G natural, and you're gonna do kind of the same thing. And then you're gonna go, oh, is that right? Oh, it is, okay. I'm reading my music and I'm, I'm questioning it as I go. So again, the second measure, B to G. So G, E, D. Skip that F sharp, we've had enough of it. All right, first two measures. Switch fingers. There you go. Um, a lot of uh, ornaments are usually thrown in on this tune, but we're going to do it without them for now, just so you can get um, get your brain wrapped around how the tune actually goes. So we're going to have uh, measure three. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? 
So it's C sharp, a little bumpy mountain B, C, B. And then on arpeggio, uh, every other note starting from open A. And then ending on A. Isn't that nice? Here we go, third measure. Again. Third time. There you go. Um, I am going to move on to the fourth measure, which is really noty. So here we go. It comes with a little pickup note. Uh, it's a roller coaster. Let's let, let's let's break it down. Uh, break it down. F sharp G F sharp E, and then A B C. So in a way, it's almost like this. And then we go up the mountain, and then we go down the mountain. Hmm. We'll see how that works. Hop over to F sharp. It's a bit of a cliff at the end there, isn't it? We'll do it again. And that takes us back down to. So let's do it again. Um, measures three and four. If you don't get it the first time, hop on the second time. Here we go. Again. One more. This is um, A to F sharp, and then B to G, and then our C, and then our uh, pickup down and up and around. All right. Good luck. Here we go. <gasps> Swap. C sharp. Arpeggio. Pickup. Open A. Do it again. different ending, wasn't it? That was a lot more satisfying. Uh, that's how you know that you've reached the end. So um, you can think about this tune a couple different ways. You could think of it as two A parts um, with slightly different endings, or you could think of it as, um, you know, one giant A part that is actually eight bars of 12 eight. So it's kind of up to you how you want to think about it. Um, <laughs> Let's do it one more time, and uh, we'll have the turnaround halfway through, the, and then we'll have the ending. Boy, that D sounds really good, doesn't it? I wonder. I wonder if that means something. I think. I think that we could be on to figuring out our key, don't you think? All right. So here we go. One, two. One, a two. You'll notice that there's a couple of doubled notes in there that I just went ahead and used cuts on. Um, I will provide the sheet music, I will provide uh, recordings, but uh, you go find your own cuts. I think you can do this now, okay? Um, let's move on to the B part. B part goes like this. Anything different? 
different. Whoops. <laughs> Wasn't intended to be different. The B part is, for me, exactly doubled. You can, there's lots of variation and, and such you can do, but today, let's make it easy and keep it simple. So, um, measure one of the B part. This is very satisfying to me. You're going right down the scale. So play that F sharp and the F sharp ED. Then go back up to E. Same pattern. D. Same pattern. C sharp. Same pattern. And then you kind of do another little. Uh, yeah. So it's G to B. F sharp to A, and then this is the craziest bit here. This is the E to E. Uh, so you really have to figure out how you're going to get over there. You might stop your bow on the string and rock your roll, roll it right across the string without a sound. You can get fancy and jump off the string and get down on it onto it. So um, those are a couple of quick solutions for, for this crazy uh, string crossing here, but uh, experiment, see what happens. Uh, anyway, so E, do that again. So it's E, 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 D, C sharp, B, C, D. And then you get a pickup of open E. Let's do it again, all the way from the beginning. So we're gonna we're gonna go down our uh, waterfalls, waterfalls. Okay, and then maybe we have some skipping stones, and then one that goes really far. And I'm so excited! Oh, excited! I got it. Ah. Sort of like a ta-da at the end there. Um, by the way, this is kind of surreptitiously another technique to, to learn your tunes um, and try to figure them out as you go, is you make up little stories, at least I like to, um, make up little stories about how the, the, the tune contour, the, the, uh, the flow of the tune uh, goes, and, and I don't know, it helps me remember. Any pathway I can get to remember something I take. So um, see if this works for you. Here we go, waterfalls. Oh, sorry. So that's the whole tune. Are you, let's see, what else can we do with that B part? So you could, instead of going, you could go. So did you notice what I did there? I did some note addition. I changed uh, the one dotted quarter into a quarter and an eighth, all right? And at the end, instead of going, I went, or something like that. I, I did some note subtraction. So where I uh, changed the, the two, let's see, the quarter and the eighth into, the, into a dotted quarter. So that's, that's just some fun you can have with a tune like this. Um, and if you really want to get fancy, you can go. I mean, that could be, that could be kind of fun too, I think. So from the beginning, are you ready? Um, we're going to take it slow to start, but then I am going to take it up to where I'm really counting it in two. Okay. Uh, just so you can get an idea of, of how fast this can go. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
going to the well for water. One, two, three, four. there yet have I that was fun oh, or maybe horrifying I'm not sure which but uh, give it a go anyway you know it's like you're at a session who knows who knows what could happen um, I kind of did that uh, partially for fun because yay new space um, but also partially because I threw everything just about everything I threw in there is something you can identify based upon my previous videos okay so there was a uh, note addition note subtraction like all that sorts of var uh, variation Lots of ornamentation. There were those trebles. Uh, there were, um, uh, what was it? Rolls, of course. There were rolls. And the only thing that I I, I do want to touch on, but I, I, I will save it for another day, is uh, bowings. So a lot of those bowings, remember uh, what our, our general rule is to slur into the beat, right? And you've got four beats to choose from. I mean, if you count all four of them, right? So um, start there. Uh, check out whatever... Um, jig bowings existed because some of those might actually work pretty well for the slide. But keep in mind that y your ultimate goal is you know, it's just one and a da and two. Okay. Um, this is generally used for set dancing, which um, there's a couple of different kinds of set dancing in Irish music. Um, oh, we talked about one earlier. St. Patrick's Day is a solo set dance um, where a person dances to a specific tune, like this is St. Patrick's Day, and does their, you know, whatever their steps might be, in this case, uh, the traditional version of the steps. Um, but there's another set dancing that's like a group set dance. They just still call it set dancing. And it's more like um, American style square dancing. You've got uh, four, four couples, two facing two. And uh, they do these sets, which are just amazing, and is a whole other concept for another day. Look it up if you're interested, but that's where you're largely gonna hear those slides, okay? Um, that's all for now. I am so surprised that I'm doing this on time. Uh, leave me some comments. I want to hear from you guys. I love it when I, when I hear from you. So um, all the best. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.